Okay, let's try something new. We're going to add functionality to our hotkeys, which basically means that if you put it on your hotkeys and you press that button, you're going to use the item. However, we don't have any functionality to our hotkeys yet, so let's figure that out. Also, this one is going to be not scripted. I haven't uh, figured this out yet, so let's try to figure it out together. Over on our first person character, where we have our hotkeys, we're going to do a keyboard any key. Over here, we're going to do a for each loop of our hotkeys. And we're going to check if the hotkey element is equal to our key. If that is the case, then we're going to get all get all widgets of class. So if this is true, we're going to get all widgets of class. The class is going to be our hotkey slot. So we do for each loop out of that. And we're going to check if the, because we, now we got access to our hotkey slot, right? So we can get our key from that. And then we can check if the key is equal to the array element. If that is true, we're going to do a test. So out from our array element, we can get our item maybe. And we can do a print string. Out from true on that. And upon save that, if I go in, I press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nothing happens. If I go and get the stake or axe or whatever I have here, I can put that there. I can put the iron there. If I press 1, nothing actually happens let's see what that is ah probably can't have top level only on let's put our three wood in number one and two wood in number three there we go just to make sure that it actually works let's pick up the iron put it at number four yeah okay so now we've got access to our to our items now what we want to do is we want to make a function so so this is if it's a hotkeys though right and we want to make a function over on our hotkey slot, maybe. Actually, we could probably just do it in a custom event. Uh, we're going to do use item. The item that we're going to use is ourselves. Um, let's go back to our first person character, and we're going to call use item once this fires off a tree. So how are we going to use the item? Well, we're going to be spawning in our master item. The spawn actor from class. The actor that we're going to spawn in is ourselves. The transform, just split that open, not promote that, split that open, we don't need that. And compile and save that. After we spawn the item in, well, we actually want to go into our master item now. If we do a function here, go on use. We're going to set some health, just so we can have some something to test with this or current food maybe duplicate that and we can make a current uh maximum food because we're currently fucking with that right so our maximum food is 100 we currently have 32 let's say that when we use our raw steak we're going to get our info so do we have any thing in our item structs no inside of our item stats uh that's a lot inside of our cooking Cooking info. We're gonna add something. We're gonna add uh, one thing. We're gonna add f food. And delete that last one. So we got food there. Compile master item. Back to state. So now we have access to a food variable. Um, I'm gonna set food to 25 on this one. So on use, we are gonna check if on our raw steak if. Actually, can we do this on master item? Can we just do a switch on it? We probably, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's cancel that one. Back into our master item. And over here, now we can add our return node because we're going to be using this. Right? And then we want to do a, on master item, we want to do a, uh, get, get our item info. want to break that. And then we can do a switch on categories. So if it's a consumable, we kind of want a, another variable for this as well. Honestly, not just because consu consumable can be anything, right? So we can make a new one. Okay, that's called food. Item cat categories. Let's make a new one, call it food. Back into our master item, compile that. So if it's a food, which we are going to test with, what we're going to do is we're going to 
make a new function. We're going to call it eat food later. Right, let's make it now. Eat food. Back into our unuse. Plug the eat food into here. After we have eaten our food, we can return with a success. So what are we going to do with eat food? Should we do this in a function, actually? Yeah, we're going to do it in a function. We're going to get our item info. We're going to break that open. Do we have any info, uh, any HUD ref or anything here? No, we do not. So over on your use item, so we're on our hotkey slot. Hotkey slot has access to HUD. So over on your master item, we can add a new variable. We're going to call it HUD ref. Expose that. So back to our hotkey slot, refresh this, and our HUD ref is going to be the incoming one from our hotkey slot. So now our master item has access to the HUD. We need access to the HUD because we need access to the uh, inventory, which has access to the first person. And the first person currently has our get current, current food. So when we eat, we want to set current food to current food plus the incoming one from our item info. No, not our item info, info from our cooking info. That's going to be the food. What we also want to do is we wanna out from this uh, return here, we're gonna do a clamp float. And that's gonna go into the set. And the minimum is gonna be zero. The maximum is gonna be our max food. So get m food. Right? That's our eat food. We can return after that. So we just that's all the food is going to do right it's going to set it you can add a different like uh in your branches and stuff you can add a different uh because we have a boolean if it's processed right so if it's cooked or raw you can add that so here we got a boolean so if it's cooked and it's raw you know you can add you can add anything you want really uh back to on use when it's a food item we're going to eat the food it's going to pass out success head back to first person character uh, 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 on use, we're going to spawn it, we're going to call it after it is done. If it's a success, crap, there we go. If it's a success, we're going to destroy uh, our actor. Like so, not our actor, but the, 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 the one that we just made. Let's hit play and test this. We can't actually test it because we need on our let's do it on the event graph i hate doing it like this but let's do it on the event graph event tick i mean not event graph on event tick we're going to add a delay of 0 0.2 we're going to print out our current uh, food we play we got 32 let's go pick up the let's actually put on some put this to cook for us once that is cooked a couple times there we go we can take that out i'm gonna place them both here so the, f the third one we haven't made any value to but the first one the raw one so 32 we are not doing anything let's see what's happening over here we're heading to the use are we spawning in any Master item, yes, we are spawning in the items. It's not going through, yeah, because we haven't set it to food, have we? Set to a raw steak. It's going to be a category food. It's going to give 25. Let's head into our cooked steak. It's going to have type food. It's going to have 50 food. And let's also just change this current food down to like 5. So back into play now. Let's cook some of these. Okay. That's weird. That's not weird at all. 
because it thinks that it because uh, we have it as food, right? So over on your campfire, where we check for a processing item, we check that it's a type consumable. We could do a or boolean here. If it's a consumable or a food. So this looks like a shit show, dude. I am so sorry. Get stuck over here. Because we haven't added the food in our switch as well. So just plug in your food to your switch as well. Compile and save that. Now it should work. I don't know what if it doesn't. Okay, it's not doing it. It's going into the true. And it's failing at the there because we haven't plugged in the boolean. Ah, now it should work. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's stop that. Okay. Now, if I add my cooked steak, remember that's bigger. So we currently have five. You can see it in the top left. If I eat my raw steak, I get 25. So I have up to 30. I have up to 55. If I eat my cooked one, I'm up to 100. However, as you can see in the hotkeys, we aren't actually deleting the items. So we need to do that. So over on your use item function, on success, before we... Well, it actually doesn't matter if it's before or not, honestly. What we are going to do is we're going to get our quantity. We're going to set uh, set our quantity as well. Get our quantity. Oh, come on. And set our quantity to quantity minus one. And then we're going to update slot. Like so. Do we have a check if it's negative in the value? No, we do not. So let's do that on our, we could do that on our update slot, honestly. After we check if it's a valid class, we're going to check if the quantity is greater than nil. Put that into true. If it is greater than zero, we're just going to go that way. If it's not greater than zero, I'm going to plug it there. Um, I'm going to set item to be blank and then go into our false over there. Uh, let's just test with this as well because I don't, it's not going to do anything. But if I'm clicking one now, nothing actually happens because it's not a food item. <clears throat> Sorry. Now it's uh, giving food and it's destroying itself. And uh, if we get to zero, hang on. It's gone. There we go. That's it for this one. I hope uh, I hope we did all right. I uh, I, I kind of liked doing this. Oh, crap. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Alex is not trying to read Finnish morning actor. That's on our hotkey slot. I am trying to call it when it's not actually valid, I believe. So over on use item, over on use item, we need to check some things. We need to check if the quantity, let's check if the quantity is greater than nil. If that is true, it's just gonna go into there. Okay, we're at empty. And there we go, the error is gone. It was trying to activate itself after we, well, while we were clicking one, it found the, it found the key and it tried to use the item and it tried to spawn in the actor. However, the actor on use could not go to uh, a success because we didn't have any quantity. Anyway, that's it for using items. We'll try to make more videos like this. I promise not all of them is going to be like this, but a couple once in a while. It's, uh, it's fun. Anyway, I appreciate you all and I'll see you later. Bye bye.